Aloha Aina. I'm Ahuke Kahu Cardwell with the Kiwani Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. We want to make you aware of a groundbreaking legal precedent that occurred earlier this month that could very well have long range consequences for the future of both the people and land of Hawaii. As the result of a lawsuit brought against the state of Hawaii and the U.S. Army for their live fire training at Pohakuloa on Hawaii Island, Oahu Circuit Court Judge Gary Chang found that the Hawaii State Department of Land and Natural Resources failed this. Judge Chang stated that DLNR failed to Malama Aina which is the Hawaiian cultural term for caring for and respecting the land. Judge Chang made his ruling on a lease that DLNR has with the U.S. Army at Pohaku Law. The reason this is so significant is because it's the very first time that a Hawaii court has used the term malama aina in a court decision. What it means is that the court says that rather than protecting the environment, which is the usual term used, DLNR and the U.S. Army must actually take care of the land as Kanaka Maoli as Hawaiians would. It means that those involved in the U.S. occupation of Hawaii must do this consistent with Hawaiian cultural values rather than the occupier's values. Because of Judge Chang's decision using the term Malama Aina, this could now have legal effects for other areas like Makua Valley on Oahu, where the U.S. military also uses live fire. But it could also affect this. There's no question that building telescopes atop Mauna Kea is not in accordance with Malama Aina, and therefore this court ruling could play a very significant part of the future of what happens on Mauna Kea. So stay tuned. Now, if you think this information is important, share this free Hawaii TV video with all your friends online. That's how you can support a free Hawaii. I'm Ahu Kekahu Cardwell with the Kiwani Foundation right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.